I was earning one thousand two hundred and forty rand sixty five cent. Over and over and over. Yes, but I didn't know how how to save. Mm. You know, to invest. Mm. You see, I would say all all the mistakes that I've done financially, I take them as school fees. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> school fees. Yeah. And I'll tell you one thing. I'm glad to say I have a, I have a life cover. Yeah. How much money have you lost in maybe perhaps questionable investments or just investment that didn't go well, more or less? How much yeah. do you think you've lost? I mean, we're here now, we're in Newtown. I, um, there was um, the Capellos hmm. uh, down the road. Um, I, I owned that Capello with uh, Pop Mabena. Hmm. Um, we ran it for a good two, three years. Hmm. Uh, it went down, uh, we had put um, I think myself personally, maybe I lost about close to about eight hundred. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred thousand. Um, yeah, on oh, that okay. uh, that business. Yeah. Uh, funny, yeah. One of the things as well was that, but so when I was running that, um, I remember. Um, so my first contract at Sundowns was three years. Mm. So immediately after my contract ends, I go now. I'm negotiating my my next contract. Mm. And uh, uh, Mr. Mzipa tells me, hey, my man, uh, these people here, they're saying uh, you are not focused on your football. They're saying you are a businessman. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so they're saying I mustn't give you a contract. Yeah. So I said to him, uh, uh, I got one of the reasons I told you. So when I moved there, I told him. Um, some, one of the things I want to learn from him was on, on the business side. I want mm. to go into business. Mm. Um, so, so when you're a footballer, then you're in a catch-22. So when you go into business, um, people in the management uh, they become jealous. They don't want you to. And you mm. know, um, I've seen a lot of other guys that have done it after me, like Bo Shaba. Mm. You know, um, I've had a lot. You know, in, in <laughs> mm. uh, I had a fish and chips with Ezra Miandoro. Mm. Um, um, we lost money there. <laughs> um, mm. uh, so, so these guys were saying to him, "Hey, uh, so don't give him a contract." Mm. So they, uh, so we had to negotiate, and they had to give me now a, a year mm. to prove myself that I still want to play for the club. Mm. Mm. I was angry, mm. very angry, mm. um, and at the time, uh, Pirates was knocking. Mm. <laughs> I remember. Uh, Floyd Mbele uh, was phoning me every day because they knew my contract was, had finished. Mm -hmm. um, but I decided, uh, even moving from Chiefs, I never wanted to move. You know, mm -hmm. so I, didn't, I never wanted to, you know, club hop. Mm -hmm. um, so I stuck it in there, and I remember that season I was the best player at the club. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that, when they gave me that one-year contract, I, was, I fought for, you know, for my next contract. Mm -hmm. And so when I had to negotiate my next contract, I signed another three years. Mm. I spent seven years at Sundown. Mm. And so I had to then mm. um, fight for my, my, my next three-year contract. Mm. Um, but uh, <coughs> it's, 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 it's mainly, you know, a lot of things is... Um, mm. But again, I, if there's one thing I know with that as well, that, uh, I mean, with running a business, mm. <laughs> um, I learned a lot with, uh, as much as I love, mm. the, you know, the owning the restaurant, mm. but you, can, you can't do it with a remote control. You yeah. have to be there. You have to be present. You learn a lot of things. You learn how these people are stealing from you, mm. the people that you really trust. But just talk. Uh, keep on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the one that you go to know was a Aucatel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I used to, uh, so on Thursdays, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it was busy, and you know, it's students around. Mm. And mm. Um, so on, a th on Thursdays uh, and, and the day, so we would have to, you know, uh, alternate days with, with Bob. Mm. So like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it was quiet, but from mm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mm. so we had to alternate, you know, two days each in those mm. four days mm. that we'd have to be, mm. and we'd close about 2, 3 a.m., Mm. I'm training till I'm training mm. <laughs> the next day at nine. Mm. <laughs> um, so I mm. uh, had to, uh, you know, uh, make a decision. Or I, do I mm. still? Mm. Uh, so I thought, ah, uh, let me let it go. So when we sold it, 
uh, we had to sell it at a loss mm. uh, just to get rid of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. But, uh, so if you look at some of the investments you made at the time, I mean, you um, at one stage uh, was running Capello, um, and then you mentioned fish and chips. And um, what do you think you could have done differently in your investment strategy? You know, because clearly you you're a soccer player, but you had an eye for business because you knew Jorge. I mean, a soccer career has a short lifespan, and you needed to start something so that you know after soccer, you know you could um, uh, there's something to fall back on. So, what do you think you could have handled differently so that you don't lose as much money as you lost in doing those businesses? Um, is to have a team. Yeah, you have to put together a team. Mm. Um, so, in whatever that one does, you need to get you know. Uh, team of experts. Put together a team of experts yeah. um, that you then become, hmm. uh, whether they become your consultants or you become business yeah. partners with. Yeah. And you know, when you go into property, you know, hmm. you have you know a, yeah. a, a property specialist that would, hmm. and maybe within that team, then you need you know um, hmm. like lawyers as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I think uh, that's what I would do. Um, okay. Um, that, that's what hmm. I would advise. I think that's a big um, money lesson. Advice the boys today, but mm. the, unfortunately, the biggest the biggest challenge with with these young boys today is um, <clears throat> when they are young, playing for for these clubs at um, as um, uh, at academies, mm. um, they discourage them from ha to, uh, having a, a manager. Mm. And once they have an agent, it's like, hey, no, no, tell you, it's not an agent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, yeah. um, <clears throat> but I think if you look at any other sports, uh, even football, when you look at in Europe, how they, you yeah. know, they run or help this, because uh, uh, at the end of the day, as a footballer, mm. your, uh, your main focus should be just on the field. Yeah. And so when you have an agent, uh, most of the time you find this agent, um, uh, uh, they only understand football as well. Mm. And so, so they, they, there's a lot that, that needs to go in. Mm. Uh, but I think if I, anything with finances, as black folk, uh, even just your regular mm. uh, person down, um, a lot of people that are even professionals, mm. uh, we don't understand money. Mm. Um, like because. It's not in school, they don't sure. teach us about yeah. money. And mm. that's where I think uh, the biggest challenge and where we go wrong. Mm. Um, the other um, uh, races of people, they teach them at home mm. <laughs> about mm. money. Mm. Uh, because at school, they don't teach. And mm. so now, us black folk, mm. who's going to teach you about money at home? Mm. Um, so I think if. if um, <coughs> Uh, when I look at footballers, just mm. entertainers in South Africa, yeah. I look at them as they're not different from someone that Otsarang Loto. Yeah. Mm. Um, mm. Uh, mm. Because you find, so let me give you an example about footballers. Uh, you get this boy coming from First uh, in the rural area in Venda. Mm. Or oh, coming out of a town, uh, township, Alex Soweto. Mm. Um, this boy becomes professional. Uh, he's 18, and in his life, the most money he's ever seen or he's ever had is maybe a thousand bucks. Mm. Um, he's never had a bank account, mm. and now all of a sudden he's got a bank account. Mm. He plays for um, Cosmos or a Arus. Arus. Mm. He earns three thousand rands. Mm. He plays two, three years. By the time he's 20, 21. Pirates signing more chiefs. Mm. So from 3,000. Now from 3,000, he goes to 25,000. <coughs> mm. um, and he doesn't understand. Uh, mm. He can't comprehend what 25,000 to, you know. Mm. Um, from there, he starts playing for national team. Mm. Uh, a year later, or whatever, um, he's now on 60,000. Mm. And and the clubs, I tell you, this is what I know, and it's a fact. Uh, within the clubs, within the football fraternity, uh, foot, the clubs, they don't care. All for them is you just you are working. Mm. They give you a salary. What you do with your money? Yeah, uh, it's your problem. It's, it's not their problem. Okay. Yeah.
Okay, ah, very interesting. Um, love us. Uh, your worst financial decision. I know you, you spoke about the, your, mm. two, your two cars mm. uh, that were identical, your twin cars. Uh, but what other worst financial decisions uh, you, did you make uh, during your soccer days? And I think uh, my entire career, it was just a waste. The mm. uh, reason why is I live for people. Mm. I live for myself, I live for people. Um, what do you mean by that? You live for people? What like, like, I didn't care of anything. If I bought a stove, go high, it was a bonus. If I renovated, go high, it was a bonus. But you see, the problem in Tuas Gordon, as Brian said, coming from a rural area, so I grew up in a rural area, mm. and not knowing how to spend money, mm. and thinking that next month I'll be paid. Um, if I remember properly, is that uh, when I grew up, as, as I said, uh, Brian has just said now that uh, in, in the, uh, mostly white people, they will, they will give a child or his child two rent, they put it in a money box, put it in a money box, and they will make, he, she will make sure, he will make sure to take care of the money. Mm. Uh, that, that's how you start banking, mm. being a child. Mm. Now you get old as I was 18, I could sign the when I was 17 or 18, mm. uh, having to have money, and then um, boom, buy two cars. Mm. Uh, playing for vets, boom, sundowns. Mm. Now by playing for sundowns, people start knowing me. Now I, I walk with my shoulders high, mm. you know. Uh, I associate myself with friends that I don't know where they're coming from. Mm. Uh, uh, those friends, they enjoy the space and uh, uh, they don't actually advise me on anything. Mm. And you have that financial advisor that comes to the stadium and say, this is the person that comes to help, come and help you with your financials. And you say, no, no, man, I, I'm late. I'm, I have a meeting somewhere. Mm. Not even having a meeting. No just time. because of you don't want to listen to anyone. Yeah. Now, then from there you go on and go on and live life. You know, I was making so many parties. I'll tell you that I had more parties than anyone. I had more parties than the DJs mm. themselves. Mm. Uh, Brian knows you, they used to come there. You know, uh, people, uh, we, I used to know Robert Marawa, not driving, driving a TS before you, I even knew who was Robert Marawa. Mm. And, and uh, you look at all these people that I lived with. I'll tell you now, now there's a guy from, uh, I'm not gonna say the name, from Val, he mm. knows him. I was buying Groza, he's a billionaire. Mm. I was buying grocery, and uh, there's somebody that. I'm sure he was not a billionaire at the time. One no, he was nothing. I was buying grocery. I was even. I remember one day he was, he was fighting with some guy for Jack Daniels. They were hitting each other. I'm a billionaire. This, this uh, grocery no buy a king. Nearly friend allowance or something. What day? Mtako no mo buy la grocery. No, no, no. I was helping. Oh. I was helping. Linda got a good help somewhere mm. somehow, mm -hmm. and um, it it got to a point whereby I had so many friends, and uh, and uh, somehow I was like a pimp. Mm. Because of a lot of people, I wouldn't say their names, but some are here. <laughs> <laughs> say their names. Yeah. Okay, some are here. Yeah, <laughs> some are here. Some, some one, one of one of the people that are here will knock at two o'clock. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Again, again, what are why you want them? Yeah. You know, that's the life that I live. Mm. And, mm. and um, I, I had friends. Well, Oscar, they were my friends. Speaky, really. Yeah. Now, I remember one day I was, this, uh, I was with these colored ladies and uh, I called Steve and I didn't tell him these are colored. What are Steve? Steve yeah. Yeah. I, when, when you got there, hey, that was my boss. My boss, who was my boss? My darling. Then, then, even Steve left. Yeah. Then, I'll go places. I'll, I'll be in Val. Mm. I, I remember one day I forgot the woman in my house. I went to Botswana. While I was in Botswana, I said, oh God, I forgot. And I locked the door. Oh. Now, I was sponsored by Nike. When I came back, uh, this guy, this lady I came, and she was from Cape Town, and mm. I gave her a take and she was happy. I, oh, I didn't... for Chaleta takes? No, I gave her a take Oh. Now, now, I only thought about myself, nobody mm. else. Uh, 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 whether someone was hurt or not, I didn't care. Mm. I was living my life. Mm. And I remember there was a time when I had a party go Gundlungwa go Beshli. Even before that, I met you know I met women that wanted to make me, mm. but I didn't want to be made. Mm. I remember at an M3, in what way? What do you mean by that? No, because of you have a woman that comes and advises you said, but lovers, you cannot have two BMWs when you don't have a place to stay. Mm. You're renting, mm. and the lady came and, and told me that I'll dump you if mm. you don't sell one of the car. I'm gonna dump you next week. Yeah. 
And I thought she was joking. Mm. And then she told me, I said, I'm giving two days to sell one car. Mm. And I sold one car, and I started looking for a house. We looked for us, we got a house. Mm. Now, the problem is one is, you see, when you come from the rural area, you come to Johannesburg. Mm. You look all these ladies. Sorry, people, I'm not trying to offend <laughs> anyone that has a weave, but <laughs> what I'm saying is that uh, 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 sometimes to date someone that you grew up with, mm. she, she understands the sure. lifestyle mm. and where you're coming from. And there's less expectations. True. You I, see, mean, I mean, for someone to say, if you don't sell the other car, uh, I'll dump you. And then let's go and buy Those are yeah. relationship goals. Too. Yeah. No, no. You, you, you see, uh, uh, there, there's more challenge. Uh, uh, these players that are playing currently, they have very serious challenge. Mm. So having, uh, are we telling the story while we're still alive? Mm. And we became, I, or no, I wouldn't say we became, I became an example of life. Mm. If I could have listened to those financial advisors, maybe I could be somewhere, I be, could be owning a, a, a company or being somebody. Mm. But I've turned my life from negative to positive. Mm. So uh, one thing that you must learn, mm. the reason why there's a prison, you must have, a person from prison will tell you about prison mm. for you not to go to prison. Mm. Because if somebody cannot, Brian cannot tell me about prison, he's never been to prison. Mm. Mm. Now, the life that I've lived as a person, uh, lucky enough, I didn't forget my family. Whatever mm. little money that I had, I'll mm. give to the family. Mm. Uh, I mean, going to the national team. Mm. Go, uh, uh, Brian has just said the story in El Swaziland when you're under 20. Mm. You know, under 20, uh, uh, I, I hope uh, whoever that we are with now, they will take that as a past. Mm. Uh, I remember it was Sandile Bali, it was Sheikh, Sheikh Mashaba, it was uh, Brapesi. Mm. Mm. They went out, but now we stole all the ladies that they brought with us. And, and uh, the life that we lived, it was, <laughs> we are friends. Mm. Whether playing for Paris or Cheese, we are friends. Mm. Then it got to a point whereby when I was staying in Kobesh, so the lady, mm. and uh, I'll cheat. I'll cheat. Uh, uh, you know, some of the things, if I say them here, the little mm. are Because of, I remember one day I was caught right handed, going to Lemont. And I ran away. That two men, I'm Oh, come, come. Then I ran. I ran, I ran away for two days. Then, when you talk about lovers, you're talking about women. What about my banner will come and knock going to Hey, lovers, my guy. And I will go to one. We had have a party. Mm. We had this house about two in the afternoon, three. Uh, when he gets bored with uh, the, 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 the ladies, he's bored. And I say, takes the kisses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he talks like, yeah, he mm. says, I'm just going to sew it. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You think he's joking, mm. okay, they can't. <laughs> no matter where pass on yeah. Now, now mm. I, I, I live that life, mm. and um, everything that I've done, my mother was very protective of me. Mm. Uh, I remember I went to meet Rensas Lady and uh, this, you know, when you meet a lady, and you start finding, I mean, getting funny calls from a guy, I made this lady, and now I'm having trouble with my food. Mm. And uh, this other lady said to me, she was only in town, I was like, you can come. Mm. I, I, I've done my boyfriend. But this boyfriend left his back. Can't you the security guy? Who tip out the, the boyfriend? Ah, not like I can. So I, I used to like a gun. Mm. Now I give this gun and everything to my friend in the car, and he goes. And the, the, the lady says, what do you want to have first? Na or the and I said, hey, let me start the car, the car, the And eventually, at the latest stage, we're going to get a thing, go, 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 go. And somebody, go, 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 go. And that guy says, hey, Buddha, I get to the And the guy, you see the turnouts are sitting there, when you get in, there's this small table in here, and I'm not going to go for a The guy comes in, like, this working him straight. I was not even training. Mm. And the guy comes in, a jumper. Anka Tipekan and TVs and Sword Games 3. And I get okay, the security, I'm telling the security, open the gate, the security, or he, he, I do involve. Then I hit the gate with my shoulder, then I went out. Then I threw stones to this guy. Then from there, who should I call? Is that night? I don't have a phone. I went to Eddie Zondi when he was still alive. <laughs> went to Eddie Zondi. When I got to Eddie Zondi, I said, hey, Eddie, 
Bang Hai Jiki. I can move to the loose to Bang Hai Jiki. Ah, that guy went to IFM. Hey, he told the story and it was trending. Now on Saturday, the, I mean the life that I was living on Saturday evening, there will be the posters where they show that, and they were written a former player that can that can outrun Carl Lewis, <laughs> you know, and uh, and I could see it's me. Then I went to Medunsa still. Mm. I got four ladies. I went to go Southern Sanimo, Santina booked. And we were all reading about me on the paper, like reading. Yeah, when was this? Ah, it was during the week. Yeah. They chased me. That, I, I didn't care about anyone. Mm. But until when I left Sun uh, 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 I went to Cosmos. And the reason I went to Cosmos is because I was frustrated. So Sun Downs was supposed to sell me to Copenhagen. And uh, eventually, uh, Pirates sold Cosmos to Copenhagen for 200000 Sun Downs was asking for $400,000. Now, Went to Cosmos. That's not why I went to Cosmos. It's because I wanted to go uh, overseas. Yeah, but with Cosmos, I didn't go to overseas. I'm, I, I went ever see. Yeah. That's where I went. Yeah. Ever see. I, I remember. I remember he used to call me from that side. Uh, uh, I'm playing here, mm. but these people they pay. Uh, uh, Cos one. Cosmos that side, I'm getting my salary from, from Joe. <laughs> I don't get paid. And, uh, and you see, he's playing all my season, but the salary is a <laughs> woman's yeah. No, actually, actually, I was getting paid more than that side. Okay. And uh, it was like I was at the university. Mm. Uh, uh, thing. And mm. my parents, if I get paid this side, people should send money to, for me to leave the other side. Mm. Mm. And uh, I was I was paying uh, I was getting paid the the the, the, the core, like with the receipt book here build us or mm. build it something mm. like that. Mm. Now while I was there, I, I said no. You know what? This is another thing uh, that I cannot stand for. And staying in a flat, you don't know the language. Mm. Now stayed in Greece, mm. but but I was not enjoying anything. Mm. Now one day when I came back for holidays, I was walking. But around East Gate, and I saw mm. this beautiful woman. I said, mm. Hey, this woman, I said, No, you know what? And I, I said it jokingly, but seriously. Mm. But she thought I was jokingly. But I, I didn't, I, when I said it, for God, like she didn't believe me. Then I met the lady in April, no, end of April. Then I went back to Greece. Two days while I was in Greece, I called the lady, I said, Are you serious? Will you marry me? And the, and the lady said, yes. I said, I'm getting to my flight. I'm coming back to South Africa. I didn't even tell the team. I just said, mm. I'm going back to South Africa. Mm. I flew back. Um, I promised you to marry on the 12th of, to, to, on the 12th of June. It was on a Saturday, 12th, 2004. Then I came and got married to that lady. Uh, I think we're fine. And uh, eventually I came back and I prayed for Cosmos. I continued my life. But lovers didn't stop these habits. <laughs>